what's up YouTube so uh am I the only one at this point who pretty much thinks that Nintendo's current president can you say his name again hold on just give me a second um if I say this wrong I'm sorry Tatsumi Kimishima the current president of Nintendo am I the only one at this point who pretty much thinks this guy is full of crap like seriously I mean just Okay, so obviously the guy hasn't really talked to us much, if at all, about anything lately, or, or like that. I know that's usually Nintendo's way, they don't say much. But when it comes to the NX and his feelings about the Wii U, I'm, I'm starting to think he was just talking out of his ass. I mean, this guy is sitting here going, when, when he first took over uh, the presidency of Nintendo after the uh, passing of Iwata, this guy pretty much the first, one of the first things he said, well, well, I knew the Wii U was going to fail, and he gave reasons why or something like that. And then everybody had faith in this guy all of a sudden. Oh, oh, he, he, he knew the Wii U was going to fail. Oh, that's for, and this, that, that means when, when it comes to NX, he'll, he'll know what to do, and he'll, he'll show us what's going on, and yeah, guess what? He hasn't done fuck all about any of that. I mean, like, like I said in the last video that I made about the subject, it's like Nintendo was talking about everything else except this fucking NX. All right, Nintendo fans at this point are catfishing themselves when it comes to NX. They're, they're building up this impossible system, which if it came out to everybody's specifications, would probably cost about ten thousand fucking dollars, and this is just not really gonna happen. I mean, you want to pay ten thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars for Nintendo system? I don't. You don't. Nobody will. But anyway. It's just like, we all thought this guy had a, a new direction. People said, people were saying like, well, see, he understands the Western audience. He knows what what they want, what they need. Ah, you're full of shit on that, too. Because he has done nothing whatsoever to appease the so-called Western audience that he knows so much about. If you paid any fucking attention to the Western audience, as you so say, uh, Western audience, we want information. Basically, we want information. We got none of that. None of that. And like I said, I know Nintendo's policy is to be quiet about their project, but this, seriously, th this is annoyingly quiet. This is you ain't got shit to show us quiet, okay? And you think, you think, you think your hopes are up. Your hopes are coming up again when he says, well, the reason why we delay the NX to a certain time is we want to make sure there's games and content for this thing, and it's still nothing. There's still fucking nothing. Tokyo Game Show came and went. And we've had nothing! Nothing! You, you know what? You, you go on Nintendo of America's Twitter today. There, there, there two tweets that I've seen so far. They're, they pretty much talk about... Uh, the first one was Talk Like a Pirate Day, which is no, November. September 19th, which is today, the day I'm recording this video. And, you know, it was something tie-in with Wind Waker or something like that. And they made another one talking about like, the stickers you can get for the Mario Run game coming to iOS. And you know what most of the people responsible, you know what most people response to that was? Nintendo, where the fuck is the NX information? Seriously, hey, okay, oh look, they're, they're coming out with a, 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 a Mario game for, for uh, NX, all well and good. You know, they're talking about everything for this fucking system. It's for, I mean, for the fucking company, they're, they're talking about 3DS, they got shoes, there's, there's fucking yogurt flavors. And, and stuff like that. There's theme park talk, but there is not one fucking piece of official information about this thing. And we all expected this Kimishimi guy to, to be forthcoming with that because it looked like he was going to based on what he was saying about the Annex, and he hasn't said nothing. Nothing! At all. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I just, you know, I don't really mean to get, <laughs> like, this worked up about it. But, you know, all we have are these fucking rumors that are coming from these YouTube channels who, okay, basically there's two of them so far. You know who they are. I'm not going to name them. Oh, fuck, yes, I am going to name them. Uh, Obi-Wan Plays, which I have nothing against. He seems like a very energetic, happy guy. And Player Essence, who else I have nothing against. He seems like a very energetic, happy guy. But this is our, these two are our source of... NX information, that's not even fucking real, and they're getting the information off of Reddit. So I'm not, I'm not, I just, oh my god, seriously. Like I said, nothing against the two guys. I mean, but th there's like two things that you can make money off of on YouTube these days, and that's drama and NX rumors. And, well, th th we both know who's got that, all that covered. So that's, so it makes me wonder what the hell's going to happen to these channels once, uh, 
once the, when the NX is revealed, although I doubt it will be because I don't think this thing is fucking real to begin with. But, like, um, a player assist might be okay because he, he's been doing the Nintendo channel for, for a long time, way before the whole NX problem that's been going on. Obi-Wan, I'm not so sure it's going to happen to him because, like, he, he's, he's, he's grew up, he, he blew up with all his NX rumors and stuff like that. I guess at the end of the day, it's fine and good. But when it comes to the, when when that's all said and done, I, I don't know what he's gonna do at this point. So we'll see how that goes. By the way, I'm subscribed to neither of these guys, but I am subscribed to other people, or I talk to other people who watch these people videos. So that's how I get. That's how I know what they're doing. Other than that, it's pretty much like secondhand information that I'm getting about these people. But you know, that's accurate enough. If you if you watch these people, you know damn well that whatever I hear is probably like 99% right. But anyway, yeah, I just, I just, get, we, we believed in this guy all of a sudden. Well, I don't say we, I, I was just like, whatever. But a lot of people believed in this guy saying, oh, well, he knows what to do. And like, like one of the biggest problems, one of the biggest problems with the Wii U is like the advertising, which there wasn't any. And they said, well, we're not going to make the same mistakes we did last time. This, this is the same fucking mistake. This is actually worse. I mean, at least when the Wii U was first announced, you said something about it. And you showed something about it. Now, there is nothing. There is absolutely nothing out there by Nintendo themselves that are giving any information about the NX. And the only thing we have to go by is, like, two people who are getting all the information from Reddit. And Reddit is just full of people who are full of shit anyway. So, Kimishima, as far as I'm concerned, you being president currently is actually doing worse than Iwata. There, I said it. I know a lot of people were not too thrilled about the way Iwata was running the company or whatever by, by the end there. But at least he had something. At least he said something. Now he got a guy who might as well be a fucking mime.